George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! In the jungle, a hero's work is often exciting, action-packed, and exhilarating. Always thrilling. Even shocking. <laughs> but most of all, a hero's work is never done. Ah! Help! Save us! Uh-oh. Working all this hero overtime has finally caught up to George and Abe. I distinctly said, throw the bomb into the volcano and take the baby bush baby to the orphanage. That's not how George hear it. Of course not. You heard it wrong, because despite the numerous times I've made the suggestion, you never clean the wax out of your ears. Shh, it hear you. Earwax has feelings too. No, it doesn't. Clean your ears. No, no one too. Clean it. You not fuss up George. Yes, I am. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Throw them in volcano! Okay, that's a no. What I'm thinking is, you're so busy saving everybody else, it's destroying your friendship. Say who? Posterous. So I passed the hat and everybody chipped in to send you both on vacation. Aw, that's so nice. Go camping. Rediscover why you're best friends. Or we throw you in volcano. George, don't eat that, it's... Extra crunchy! Uh, uh... <sighs> Why do I even try? Take the left fork, George! No thanks, George eat with hands! I meant the fork of the river! Why did not say so? I did say so! I clearly stated, take the... <sighs> Deep calming breaths. Relax. One wrong turn isn't the end of the world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not end of world. Just really big waterfall. <laughs> really, really big waterfall. Where, where are we? It looks familiar. <gasps> this rock George chew on when he was small, George. These vines I used to swing. That my favorite slamming into tree. Oh, great silverbacks, we've paddled into the past. Your wrong turn took us down the river of time. How come George never hear of this river? The apes discovered it long ago, but it was declared off limits for everyone's safety. Ah! Hey, there be us. Wait, George thought we are George and Ape. We are, and so are they. Those are our youthful selves. Our futures could be irreparably altered by the slightest change. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hey, George, it me, you. Oh, we could do that. Ah, Fireworm tastes like fire. I distinctly told you not to eat that. Yeah. Pleasure to meet me. Who you be? Uh, Here, the leaves of the gastropacificus bush uh, are an effective anti-centipede. <laughs> I knew that. The question is, how did you know? The plant's medicinal properties were unknown until I discovered them last week. And so, introductions and lengthy explanations were dispensed with. See how handy having a narrator is? Time travel? Please, you must think I've only recently descended from the trees. I find your story to be highly improbable. Very well. 
given our keen intellect, a measure of youthful skepticism is understandable. Perhaps a demonstration. <laughs> George, watch out for that! <laughs> Truth accepted. So, how long George been shark wrestling champion? Shark wrestle what? And how many times have we gone into space? We've at least made low Earth orbit, I assume. Me want to be shark wrestling champion when me grow up. So me do it, right? Ah, the dreams of youth. Not wanting to be disappointments, George and Ape do what we'd all do. They lie to themselves. Oh, sure. George cannot move in Treehouse because it's so full of shark wrestler trophies. <laughs> Low Earth orbit? <laughs> Bonobos play. Let me tell you about my Mars colony. And then sneak away in the dead of night. <gasps> well, did you enjoy your vacation? Ah! Where's souvenirs? <laughs> me want to see Treehouse full of trophies. Could you kindly direct me to our launch pad? I'll be a Mama Sets uncle if I'm waiting until I grow up to go into space. Ah! He wants little monkey made from coconut. Ah! One. Where did you get those kids from? And two, why do they look so familiar? Uh, since we already know this bit, let's go right to young George and teen ape learning the shocking truth. We didn't build a rocket ship? We never wrestle sharks? Not once? Our youthful dreams of space travel and shark wrestling were replaced by more important duties and responsibilities. We heroes instead. George, king of jungle. He protect others. A bad uh, do step two, not sure what. I take a more cerebral role and George provides the brawl. That's who we are? A sidekick? A second banana? King of jungle, boring. Come George, me show you fun things. We go lava surfing right now. Don't be ridiculous. This all their fault. Ape never let us have fun. Now we old and boring and smell funny. If it wasn't for you holding us back, we'd be colonizing Mars. Fine. Apes go Mars, Georges go lava surfing. Wait. champions of all time! Oh, why George no do this before? Because apes say... It's amazing what I can achieve when I'm not saying that to George all day. Together we stand on the brink of a new age of space exploration and discovery. Correction, you mean a new age of space domination! Observe, the planet is now at our mercy. At our what? No! We must use our intellect for good, not evil. I anticipated such a reaction. That's why I added this button. <laughs> What's the point of being this smart if I can't be Lord of the Universe? <laughs> huh? Why sharks so mad? Maybe wrestling sharks, not great idea. Ooh, they upset. Seek revenge. You right. Not great. Awesome! Like lava surf park! Something about lava. George not remember. Lava awesome? Nope, that not it. Lava way cool? Hmm. That closer. Oh! oh. George, what have you done? Lava's very, very... Yes! That it! Oh, me need ace. He's oh. smart. Help! <laughs> you bar space pirate! I hereby resign from being your leader! Oh. Death rate awesome! 
You make that? Yes. Apparently, in my younger days, I was too smart for my own good. George must save Jungle from aliens! How'd he do that, eh? George, pretend that spaceship's a tree. Can you do that? What rocket ship? All George sees is flying tree. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Spaceship. And so, once again, Ape's quick thinking and George's thick skull combine to save the day. <laughs> if we just forget about all of this. When me grow up, me want to be king of jungle like George. You save everyone and beat up aliens. And I promise to always use my superior intellect for good. Together we shall become a team. I would even venture to say, heroes. Ah! They save you like Big George. Ah! Who were those guys? Thank you, George. It appears that without you to keep my excessive intelligence occupied, I would be nothing but an evil genius without a conscience. George, I have no idea what you say, but you welcome? That's what I'm talking about. Now, we throw them in Volcano! Roar! <laughs> There's a natural order in the jungle. All creatures respect the creature above them for good reason. And in this jungle, one man is king of that order. One man is George, George of the jungle. Now, Terrence, let me tell you about eating friends. No eating friends. Words mean everyone. Good, you're back. Now, to repeat, no playing in the mud and absolutely no more immature cave doodles. Ooh, mud! This Wednesday, like every Wednesday, finds George deep in the middle of king training with his trusty friend and mentor, Ape. You say, Wednesday? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> And no more naked Wednesdays, George. You are king. I know it's hard to believe, but all the other animals look to you as an example. <laughs> so you have to set a good example for them. And wash this thing. It's crunchy. Well, I hope it's a giant crate of bananas, but it never is, is it? Ah, what it be? Uh, it's a car, George. But what in the jungle is it doing here? <laughs> hmm, it's called the Eco Blast. Apparently, it's fueled by the souls of dinosaurs. And this flyer's printed on the wings of extinct butterflies. Ugh, how obnoxious. It's an environmental nightmare. Let's get rid of it before someone tries to use the blasted thing. Who it belonged to? Some spoiled person with more dollars than cents, George. No, the truck hasn't been delivered. Well, have you been home all day? Yes, I've been in my lair since this morning. It says here it was delivered. You already said that! But I'm looking around, and there's no truck! So say that one more time, and I'll unleash my swarm of flying cobras on you! Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Rudeness is not tolerated at guaranteed delivery. <laughs> your company name is a mockery! It says here your truck was delivered. <laughs> Maybe car belong to George now? Jungle law. The only thing you should keep, George, is your oath to protect the jungle. Now push. Mm, my new car smell is made from now extinct flowers. Who are you? I am Ecoblast. 
Like what you see? My paint is nuclear buff. George looks so shiny. Feel my seats. They're made of baby seals and only the cutest ones. <laughs> Why don't you take me for a ride? Uh, Ape, would it be bad if George drive car places? Yes, George, it would be bad. Take it from me, cars don't get you anywhere. A proper jungle king can't be seen in an oil belching, environment destroying metal monster, and that's that. You really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Now come, we'll push it into the bottomless pit and be done with this. Hey there, Rockstar. Why don't you take a load off? Engage seat massager. Engage foot massager. Engage eye massager. Try closing your eyes. <laughs> Wow! Engage jaw rest. What do you think you're doing in that thing? Jungle donut! George, you can't be king of the jungle in a car! No way! Car's good for jungle! George, show you! You have to agree. This machine is a nightmare. George's coolosity is definitely up at least 10 points. <gasps> Make that 15. Bah! It's time to throw some ingenuity at this problem. George! Stop! Go! Okay! I'm all right. Oh no! Me sorry! Me undo! Why would you do that? Whoops! Sorry, me redo! Please! Stop! George, listen! Shh, please. Baby Eagles need sleepy time. George, look what I built for you. It's an eco-friendly car made out of coconuts and bamboo. What it called? Well, it's also called the Eco Blast, but for different reasons. It's an Eco Blast to drive. <laughs> uh, do you want to trade? Hmm, what did it have under hood? Pedals, mostly, but it does have a five coconut safety rating. Hmm. How about we race and see? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ready for Brecky Pad? <laughs> Time to reclaim what is mine. Roads closed, buddy. Stop your vehicle and... Ah! Fine! You take something of mine, I'll take something of yours. Safer car, like Eco Blast here. That's it! I've had it! It's me! Thank you for directing me away from accident, ape! Bye now! I don't believe it! <sighs> Road's closed, buddy. You'll have to detour through this sack! Uh, yes, of course, of course. Wait, speak more slow. George no understand. Twinkle, twinkle. Rock Chicago have eight? Must bring Eagle Blast to bottomless pit in next two hours or it go bottomless. 
<laughs> Bottomless. Turkey! He sent message over hour ago. That give me only uh, division plus multiplication. Turkey, turkey! Only 20 minutes to save Abe. <laughs> What's going on here? What do you think? It all your fault. What George do? George just drives supercar all over jungle having fun. Exactly. What ape always tell you? Ape say me is example to animals. <laughs> oh no. Animals think George cool. So all animals get car like George. What? <laughs> no. No. No! What me done? Are bad! But me still needed to save Ape! Ah! Ah, here your car! Like new! Holy crud! Did you go joyriding through a rake factory? You wrecked my car, so I'm gonna wreck your friend! Release the monkey! I'm not a monkey! I'm a higher primate! <laughs> Understand physics, so physics no apply. No. Me do understand car bad for jungle, and me must set good example. Sorry, I no listen to you. <coughs> Go lie, baby eagle. <coughs> the bottomless pit. It's the bottomless. It's lava. That good. Lava destroy cars, just like you say. But George, we're still in it. George learned that cars no belong in jungle, so everyone pushed cars into not bottomless pit. I'm proud of you, George. We'll never see those cars again, and the jungle will recover. All cars melt in lava? Of course, George. What else would happen to them?